Hello everybody, welcome to Universe Sandbox. Today I am going to make the Earth spin extremely fast in Universe Sandbox and see what happens. I will make it spin so fast that one whole day will be equal to just one second. Also I will be doing things that you guys have suggested on the YouTube comment section. So, let's get right into it. Let's open a new simulation of our solar system. It will be spinning extremely fast, so let's make the simulation speed in milliseconds. Normally, as we all know, Earth completes a rotation in 24 hours or 86,164 seconds. Let's make it just one second. We are all set. Let's hit the play. All of the water has disappeared instantaneously. Look at the fragments coming out of Earth. The centrifugal force has become extremely high due to increased rotational speed. Earth's gravity is no longer able to hold it together. It's affecting equator more than the poles. Earth is starting to look like a hollow ghost of itself. It has been totally demolished in just a fraction of a second. All the life would be gone by now. Let's speed up the time a little bit. All the fragments are moving away from the center and into the space. What happened? It's all disappeared. Where it went? Okay, here it is. It's been ejected from its orbit around the sun. Let's speed up the time more to see if it will affect the solar system. So, all the fragments just left the solar system. Maybe some of those got pulled by Sun and other planets, but most of them just vanished into the space. Looks like it did not affect the solar system as it's still intact. But, of course, the Earth is gone. Our next suggestion is to combine all the moons and throw it on the Earth. Let's open a new simulation and do exactly that. What I am going to do is, first I will create a mega moon by combining all the moons. Here are all the moons available in Universe Sandbox 2. We will pause the time and place all the moons very close to each other. When we will hit play, these all will be pulled towards each other and will combine to make a mega moon. Let's place all of them quickly. So, here they are. I am going to turn off the fragmentation so that we don't lose mass in forms of fragments upon collisions. Okay, here we go. There it is, our Mega Moon. Looks like Ganymede 1. It has a mass of 8.27 moons. Looks like its radius is still increasing. Its surface temperature has reached up to 4727 Celsius. Let's speed up the time and let it reach the maximum radius it can. It has reached up to 4200 kilometers and stopped increasing. I am going to save it and let's name it all moons. Okay, now it is time to throw it on the Earth. Let's open a new simulation and go to our beautiful Earth. Slowing down the time, go to add, select launch, search for all moons that we created, and launch it on the Earth. Okay, here we go. Looks like our mega moon is cooling down along its way towards the Earth. It completely went dark. And boom. It completely demolished the Earth. It's looking like a fireball made up of lava. Speed up the time. Earth's mass only increased by 2%. A lot of mass is wasted in forms of the fragments. The temperature has gone above 4700 Celsius. Let's fast forward. Temperature is dropping really fast. Let's zoom out and take a look at the solar system. What? What happened here? Everything else is gone. All the planets are gone. The only thing remaining is this asteroid's belt. I wasn't expecting that to happen. After some time it's starting to lose its fiery glow and is cooling down. Temperature has dropped to 500 degrees. Turning on the flashlight so that we can see it properly. The rotational period has gone up to two and a half days. Let's turn off the atmosphere to see it clearly. It has lost its spherical shape and now it has bulges due to the impact from our mega moon. All the water is gone. It's just iron and silicate at this moment. Of course, the life likelihood has dropped to zero but Earth's similarity is still 96%. The temperature has become stable at around about 30 degrees. So this will happen if we combined all the moons and threw it on Earth. Our next suggestion is to make a white hole and then launch a black hole with the same mass at it. And we will do just that. For that let's create a new simulation and first create a white hole. White holes don't exist in reality. These are hypothetical region of space-time that is considered the theoretical opposite of a black hole. 
While black holes are known for their incredibly strong gravitational pull from which nothing, including light, can escape, white holes are imagined as sources of matter and energy from which nothing can enter. There are no white holes available in Universe Sandbox, so we will create one of our own by making the mass of a black hole into negative value. Let's also make its color white to make it more realistic. There is our white hole, but first let's test it. We will test it by adding Saturn's rings around it and see if it repels those. Okay, it works perfectly. Let's get rid of the rings and launch a black hole of the same mass on it. We are keeping the mass of both equal to 100 suns. Slow down the time and hit play. Black hole is going towards the white hole. What just happened? The white hole ate the black one instantly. Its mass became double but it's still in negative value. That means white hole won and became two times more powerful. So, this would happen according to Universe Sandbox if a white hole and black hole of the same size collided with each other. The white hole would win and take the mass of the black hole. So, the next suggestion is to make the sun 1800 times bigger and throw 2 wolf 1061 on it. I will try, but I don't think it's possible to make the sun that much big. It will go supernova, but let's do it anyway. What do we have to lose? Let's create a new simulation and add the sun. Increase its mass to 1800 times bigger. See, it went supernova. Time is paused, but as soon as I will hit play, it will start to expand. But let's launch two Wolf 1061s on it while it's paused and see what happens when we play it. Okay, here we go. It's expanding at a very high speed. Look at its color. It's looking gorgeous. The stars we launched at it haven't even collided with it yet. There will be another supernova when they collide with it. A supernova within a supernova. It will be beautiful. Okay, these are about to collide. The sun's core has collapsed and turned into a black hole. Look how it's bending light around the wolves. The game has got very leggy. Okay, the collision has happened. Look at that second supernova. It is expanding at a very high speed. It has gained the size equal to the first one within few minutes. Let's zoom inside it and see what's going on. The collision also created a lot of fragments. The game is getting extremely luggy. So, this is how it would look like if the sun got 1800 times bigger and 2 Wolf 1061 got thrown at it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to see more content like this, leave a like on the video. And if you have any suggestion about what should I do in the next video, make sure you are subscribed to my channel and drop the suggestion in comment section. You guys are awesome and thank you for watching.